This is great. This is like Mag Room After Dark. 20 yep. after 10 on a Friday night. Friday night in the Mag Room. All around the world you can hear them. Hey, hey, hey. Talking about losing kind of funny stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Mag Room. Mag Room. The Mag Room. The Mag Room. So yeah, okay. tonight I'm a geographical bachelor. Yeah, you use that joke uh, in a text message to me. Is that a is that? Do people say that? Is that a saying that people say? Or did yeah, you yeah, like that your out? wife's out of the zip code? I don't know. Some I've never heard it before. The area code. But you said like I said I liked what you said that season two was better than your season one was better. A geographical two. bachelor. It would be a great show though, because I what? would feel like when people's wives go away, what they probably they do? do stupid. Sh- did you do anything? I see you're not wearing any clothes. Other than that, are, are you? Uh, did you do anything weird tonight? I got three tattoos. Nice. Anything on the neck? You'd yep. make a good. You'd make a good neck tattoo guy. Really? Yeah. Like Maybe I should do that. So that's. I mean, when you. So I have like. That's why I said I could do this at 10:30. I went to a. I mean, I didn't do anything fun. I went to a. G G chocolate cake or anything like that, or. Uh, I had Jersey Mike sub sponsored okay. by Magroom, sponsored by Jersey Mike subs. What'd you have? I like their number seven, turkey with provolone. They even say it's their most popular. I get a little bacon on it, some lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, oregano, salt and pepper, oil and vinegar, mayo, mustard. Jesus. Do you, do you get the, I didn't hear you say, the cherry red pepper, uh, cherry pepper relish? No, it's too much for me. Oh, that's so, I, that makes every sandwich better. If there's yeah, I don't think I've ever had it. Well, how the f*** do you know if it's too much for you, then? That's true. But I, well, I just named 12 things. Like, if I throw that on there... Just go I, just go I like basics. my combo. All right. You should okay. try it at some point. Well, I know. I agree. Like try new things. I'm sorry. What? Nothing. I do like to try new things. I like to try new things on the margin. Yeah, we already like, had this like, discussion where trying new potato chips was out too far or out of your league. You, you couldn't... What? We, you said if you went, uh, wish I, oh, it was the, whatever episode Aaron was on, You, we were talking about potato chips. chips. And you said, you know, I don't want to ruin my whole lunch by getting a, a bag of, we remember what we were talking about? Yes. You, you be able to buy single potato chips. Yeah. Well, that's like whatever, it depends what I'm mood I'm in. Yeah, whatever. Like just okay. to try it out? I don't know. It's potato chips. Like if I get cherry relish on it and I didn't like it, then my whole dinner shot. <laughs> to buy another sandwich. What am I eating? Donald Trump? Come on. <laughs> you have to be too wealthy to afford two sandwiches, two do you? Sandwiches? <laughs> You're living, are you living sandwich to sandwich, Jared? I am. Oh, I'm sorry, pal. The other one I texted you about that I wanted to ask you about. So I went this sat- Sunday, I went with Brennan past Sunday, the UConn game. The noon game, the men played, they sucked, they lost. And then the women were at four, and it was five dollars more to go to the women. So I said, "Brendan, do you want?" We had no, he had no. It cost more to go to the women's game. No, five dollars more. Like the men's ticket. Oh, you paid forty bucks. Okay. And they're okay, like, if okay. you bought a men's ticket for five dollars more, you can go to I the gotcha. women's game. Okay. We were like, great. I said to Brendan, "You want to go? You have no school the next day." So we stayed. And we went to both games. The women won. Um, and then on the way home, we got burger at Plan B Burger, your favorite burger place. And don't put cherry pepper relish on it. might ruin it. You'll ruin your burger and you have to buy you another one. And I won't be able to pay the mortgage next month. Watched burger. half the We're living sandwich game. to sandwich, Brandon. Who the Giants won, so that was fun. Just a quick question. Are the UConn women still, like, top five, top ten? Yeah, they're in the top echelon. Yeah, they were, I mean, good shooting and... I just don't watch sports anymore. No, so that was the most sports I'd watched in months or years. Like, I watched two basketball games and half of Were you all pumped up when you got home? Go out and shoot hoops in the driveway? Yeah, I shot some hoops, smashed beer cans on my head. So the so the UConn games are at Hartford Civic Center, which is The Civi. Named something different, but I, I still know it as the Civic Center. What? Oh, it's a corporate? It's a corporate yeah, name Yeah, it's like now? the XL Center. Okay. XL oh, that's right. Center it is the insurance. XL Center. You're right, yeah. I thought that was the You think I was store. wrong? But the one thing, the one you thing said I, something you, like the XL Center. Oh, you didn't sorry. say definitive. You didn't say it's definitively the XL Center. <laughs> so at the game, though, they had the Kiss Cam. The Kiss Cam still exists. I didn't get why you were 
befuddled that this still exists. Why would they not have the kiss cam? I don't know. It's might, just it's might sort lead of, to rape can or be something. Just awkward. Yeah, that's why it's awesome. Throw it on next two people next to each other. One guy went totally in for it. It was great. Another two, the it was like it looked like it was a brother sister. She was like, uh, no, way. no, he didn't do it. No, oh, sissy. And then one guy, they kissed like sort of politely kissed, and then they always name a winner. I don't know how they judge the winner of the kiss. Sexy is. And what they is double it? back to him, so they double back to this guy. And he's nailing and the her. girl. No. The- <laughs> The girl just was like, put up her hand and didn't want to kiss again. Yeah, I'm going down on him now. No, nice. I'm away. I like how that's what you said. I'm like, I can't. And you said, no, you think it should be something more hardcore at this point. Um, that would uh, be yeah, I, I didn't. I so you just think you think it because it's awkward they'd stop using it. I don't get it. You mean do you people think, complain like, about shit now and they get rid of? it. Okay, so that's what I was curious. That's why I didn't. I'm surprised that that <clears> would come into your head. It just doesn't seem like something that people would get. Uh, it seems a little There's bit like it's that. forcing the people to kiss each other. Rapey. You're, 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 yes. You're, you're, you're <laughs> the rape cam. So it's like a little bit like you would figure. How do you look? The rape cam's on us. <laughs> fall around. <laughs> like peer <laughs> pressure. Like, hey, you got to kiss each other. Do it. If you kiss don't do her. it, we all, we all like, we all like food. Kiss her. Food. Fuck you. <laughs> So, yeah, they actually killed one of the guys who didn't kiss that's the girl. Nice. I read about that in the news. That was sad. So that's what I was thinking. Like, why? Yeah, it is weird that they didn't outlaw it after all that, huh? Now that I think yeah. about it. Yeah. <laughs> the rape murder <laughs> camp. Remember the show? <laughs> remember the show? Yeah, that would be a bit much. Remember the show MASH? Yeah, oh, yeah. I was watching it tonight. I really? swear to God, yeah. You swear to God. Got home from work. I stayed late at work um, to help. My friend was helping me fix my printer and I got home and I told I texted you and we weren't sure when we were going to go. So I said, I'm going to take a nap. I didn't get home to like 730 tonight. Long day for the old Markster. Wow. And uh, <laughs> so I just put on the TV and kind of closed my eyes for 20 minutes, 23 minutes and 21 seconds, actually. Uh, that's what I set my alarm for. Is and, that like shown to be something that? No, I just like random figures. numbers. I see. Yeah, Why are those numbers more random than 20 minutes? I just spun the little wheel that... I you know, see. I, and I stopped at about where I thought it was going to be 20 minutes, and then I spun the second hand just for the f*** of it. All right. Um, That's the kind of guy who gets cherry relish on his sandwich. Oh, but but And then but learns to love... That's like I didn't know I liked Dr. Pepper until one day I was just like, Why have I never tried Dr. Pepper? Love it. Love Plus, Dr. Doctor, three out of four Dr. Peppers recommend. I didn't go to med school. I don't know why I thought he was so <laughs> stupid and I was so smart. So, yeah, I started drinking it. Never looked back, Jared. I like Dr. Pepper as well. Right? Underrated. Yeah, yeah. How come there aren't any Dr. Pepper cocktails? I've thought of this before. Mm, there's got to be, but they're not popular. They're not like popular. a Jack and Dr. Pepper would probably maybe <laughs> probably be doc- really great. Dr. Jack, you can call at your at the Bagroom Festival. Let's only get as a mixer Dr. Pepper. <laughs> you have a vodka tonic. We only have Dr. Pepper. No, so you can have vodka, did, Dr. Pepper. Did you say? Did you say gin and Dr. Pepper? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got that. So you went cell sleep and then Mash was on. I didn't know they could make a margarita said. with a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Mash was on when I was taking my nap, so yeah, I was. Uh, what's the number they are? The four oh one k. Oh, four oh seven seven. Four oh seven seven. That's right. Very good. So the other day, Michelle and I had finished whatever show we were watching. So I'm like, hey, let's watch. And then that was just on the. I don't know. For some reason it came to my mind. So we watched the first episode. Also very rapey in that in that show. Oh yeah. yeah. There's a lot of humor of like. Alan Alda trying to make out with girls that don't want any. Don't want. To do with yeah, that was a, that was a very that was a trope of every comedy in like, yes. from like the sixties to the nineties. I feel like that's on every episode. Well, I mean, to the point where it was sort of like, I think people sort of looked at it as like romantic. You know, um, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of rom coms are like the guy just chasing the girl to the point where you're like, in real life, this girl would have charges pressed against him. You know, that's that's as stocky as it can be. Yeah, in this episode, the nurse he like puts himself on her, and so that. The, but then at the end, she's letting him like make out with her, and oh yeah, she's, even though works, she's aged, works a hundred percent of the time, except in real life where you get thrown in jail and you have to have your mom come get you out of jail. Like, what were you doing? 
You know what would get you out of this situation? A Dr. Pepper. Or a lawyer. Do they make a lawyer pepper? Because I I might need (laughs) a lawyer pepper and vodka, please. We should make the, you know how they do those rip-off sodas at the, like there's like Dr. P. Yeah, Dr. Rocket. We should do different uh, jobs, like lawyer pepper (laughs) and garbage man pepper. Accountant pepper. They couldn't get us for that, right? We'll spell pepper differently. (laughs) Peepers, Dr. Peepers. Pfeffer, we'll do Pfeffer. I'll take an accountant pepper and vodka, please. <laughs> easy, easy on the accountant pepper. We don't have any Dr. Pepper. We have lawyer pepper. Do you want? <laughs> All right. Anything else you got to start? Anything interesting in your life? Your uh, your son last week. Um, we kind of mentioned it. You told me that he uh, he was gonna or he asked you before the show started. He said, "Who?" I forgot how you phrased it. Who who runs the show? Who or... runs the show? So I just I'm I guess I think I always kind of say you do because you do. But I am going to take well. I'm going to give you a little quiz today. I'm gonna, in the spirit of NPR. I'm going to rip something wow. off again from them. Uh, you, have you ever heard the little limerick um, news quiz they do? NPR um, does dirty limericks. I didn't know. No, not dirty. Just Is limericks. that like NPR after dark? No, no, they do uh, limericks related to current news stories. Um, oh, okay. Is that um, on? Hold on, hold on. What? Yes, exactly. So I'm, I'm just I'm just stealing yet another piece of their <laughs> uh, <laughs> their their online. Um, hold lineup. on, huh? What? Okay, so here it is. I'm going to read you a limerick, and then uh, you're going to have to guess the last word of okay. said limerick. And it's based on the. All three are based on news stories that happened. Really, I got them this morning. So is this as good as the trivia I did last week about the Washington Post story about the? It's not that good. No, I could. Okay. That was that was a good one. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. I need a copy of Shakespeare's Macbeth, a tale of corruption and death, but the library is closed with sanctions imposed due to contamination of what? Meth. Yes. Very good. Um, you have a ding see. sound? Ding, ding, ding. Yep. For the second time in as many months. Had meth in the library? In the library? Twice, in, <laughs> twice in two months. What? It's Okay, so a library in Colorado, and it happened to, um, has temporarily closed its doors to clean up from meth contamination. The Englewood Public Library in Colorado said that it shut its doors last Wednesday after tests showed exhaust vents reflected meth contamination with levels above state thresholds. Why were they testing their vents for meth contamination? Um, Is that a regular thing in institutions do? Libraries. A lot of meth heads have <laughs> libraries. That's um, like in the legal document of library. You got to do meth checks every month. Where is it coming from? The tests taken in England. They have, they have were... a meth lab in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, F- Twice in two months, you guys set up a meth lab in the rare book section? It's unbelievable. God, we got to get more people back in should, reading maybe, books. Maybe we should put a camera. We should put a camera back there. Maybe that would help. Um, the tests taken in Englewood on January 6th were done as a proactive measure after the reports from Boulder, the city said in a press release. Oh, These Boulder had some meth library. <laughs> Twi- that's what I was going to say. It happened twice in two months in Englewood, and it happened in Boulder. So, What the hell is anyway. going on? I, I I don't want to focus too much on the story itself because I want to make sure. Yeah, I, but I don't even know what's going on. This comes just weeks after Boulder da, 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 closed their main library in December due to contamination from the drug. The library reopened January 9th, but bathrooms will remain closed off to visitors. Oh, uh, so people are doing meth in the bathroom. Um, I why don't feel I? Great. What happened to my teeth? Ever <laughs> since I started hanging out at the library, I don't have <laughs> teeth anymore. Mm. All right, here, I want to go back to this thing around. Ready? Hold on, hold on. What? Uh, Number two. This is much better than what I do. Maybe you should be in charge. (laughs) If you bid high, you'll garner a prize from a Silicon Valley downsize. Now Twitter will auction some of the concoction of their surplus blank. Do Do the rhyme again. If you bid high, you'll garner a prize from a Silicon Valley downsize. That, that. Think, remember that. Yeah. Uh, now Twitter will auction some of the concoction of their surplus. Da 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 da. What does it rhyme with, though? Prize, downsize. Oh, I see. And then think and think of the number of syllables there are. Surplus. Of their surplus. Da 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 da. Megabytes storage area. Office supplies. 
Are you saying like for every article I do now, I should make up one of these rhymes? Is that? Nope. I'm just saying that I can. Okay. Uh, this is I a. Can, I can Mook usurp the power. I want you to tell your son tonight that Mark stole Mook the power away from me. It. He gets to lead the show tonight. You can do Twitter it. Twitter auctioned week. off office supplies, including a pizza oven and a neon bird sign. So Twitter's their San Francisco offices are, clo- I guess, just down. So, but, but wait a second. So they're selling off office supplies. Yes. When you think of office supplies, I don't think of a pizza oven. You don't have a pizza oven in your office at work? At this <laughs> no. Point? No. No. No one does. How many? Well, people sure, can- surely you have a giant bird. Um, <laughs> neon sign, bird neon sign? bird sign. Yeah, it's bright blue. Does that mean? I guess that means Twitter's hurting for money. That doesn't seem like it would raise that much money. Uh, well, what if I told you that you could buy a kegerator? I mean, you could buy one at the store. I but I could, you could also buy miscellaneous power adapters. Um, Do they need these things to work? Like, they might need the power adapters to work. No, no, they were all being used for the kegerator and the pizza oven. <laughs> and the so neon sign. Just the correspond- They're just selling the corresponding power adapters, yeah. So they don't have a break room anymore? Uh, can I give you your last one? Sure. In Australia, they found a real thriller. Invasive species, a nuisance, a killer. A creature so massive with behavior not passive, they've dubbed this huge monster. Ba, ba, ba. I'm gonna do it one more time. Jim, Jim Lassive. How come you don't understand? <laughs> do you not know how limericks work? It's Toadzilla. Nearly six pound Toadzilla found in Australia breaks the record for the largest toad. Park rangers in northern Australia found a cane toad so giant that it provoked gasps and disbelief. The toad, which the ra- uh, excuse me, rangers Six pounds is Toadzilla, big. dude, you got to see the picture. The thing is gigantic. It looks like a big turtle. Um, weighed in what's believed to be a record-breaking five point nine five pounds. Oh, they rounded to the it. average weight of one. Yeah, yeah. Park ranger Kylie Grace got spotted the monster while conducting track work. I wonder what track work is. I mean, heroin. Yeah. Sneaking off to do heroin, and she found the biggest toad in the world. Now, what Couldn't was her name? Kylie Gray. Sounds like, like a porn she's star just name. really annoying, and they're like, hey, go do some track work. Do uh, go yeah. run around. Wouldn't it be, uh, yeah, wouldn't it be trail work, not track work? Track work. What the hell is a track at a. What if that's like wet work? Wow. So she's killing people? I feel like they need another article that corresponds with this that tells us what track work is. Yeah, do another rhyme. Can you do them on the Ooh. spot? Uh, Toadzilla. That's great. That's a terrible name, though. What did they like do a, with it? Did a they giant eat it? cooked turkey. They killed it. It's an invasive species. Invasive in Florida too. Um, oh wow! So, uh, Have you ever uh, seen a toad that big? Well, I, mine weighed five point eight five pounds. That nice. one's five point nine five pounds. I'll show you one in my pants. Hey! This is one of those things where the cane toads were introduced to Queensland to control the cane wow. beetle population, but became damaging pests in their own right. That's Unintended right. consequences. Yep. Anyway, take it over, boss. Your show. I got some Sisk stories. Sisk stories. Sisk stories. Oh, really? Is that what you did this week? I wrote I call it limerick. I wrote, I wrote limerick. Sorry. Sorry. Not as good as Toadzilla. Mary Kay Brown had plans for a dying man's foot, according to a recently filed affidavit. As the registered nurse Starting off strong, I like it already Amputated her patient's right foot On the afternoon of May 27 She told colleagues that her family Owned a taxidermy shop Her co-workers recalled her saying That she planned to take the 62 year old Patient's foot From the nursing home And display it at the shop According to them She wanted to put a sign next to it said Wear your boots kids Oh, because if you don't wear your boots, you get your foot cut off. I get it. Yep. All right. 62-year-old man wound up at Spring Valley in March. He had fallen at his home when the heat went out, suffered severe frostbite on both his feet. Several nursing home employees described his feet as black like a mummy. Around this time, Brown asked Larson, the nursing home administrator, for permission to amputate. Larson said no. So that's the boss. Telling her to merely stabilize the foot. Instead, because he thought the man would die within hours. Defying those expectations, the patient held on for several days, prompting Brown to amputate the foot because she believed it was the right thing to do. Um, all right, so what, uh, what was it? Did you ask me? What something? did she? What do you think she cut it off with? 
Um, how gruesome is this on a scale of one to ten? I don't know. I think I know what these things are, and it seems like it would be exceptionally painful. Uh, circular saw. No, because that uh, would be fast. Oh, okay. Uh, a butter knife. <laughs> Close, I think. Gauze uh, scissors. Uh, like to cut gauze? You know those short scissors that are kind of on an angle? You yeah, know, so they should cut off his foot with those. Yeah. They're pretty strong scissors. You can cut through like two or three layers of denim meat pretty easily with those things. They put the guy's foot in a fr- in a freezer after. So where were like doctors and people and when all this? I don't know. Man? That's and uh, that's they had wild. to monitor the man to make sure that the foot didn't get stolen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's a pretty good story. That's a strong starter. Yeah, she couldn't have been just a normal nurse before there had to been some warning signs. Like, did she, you know... She's just always talking about chopping people's limbs off? Yeah. Hey, that guy is a hangnail. Should we chop off his hand? She had to have been planning this. Why didn't she bring something in that was a little more equipped to cut? Yeah. I'm just wondering for you... Bone saw or something. Like, you'd probably... We'd probably need something that, like, went right through. I mean, I have a ton of tools. Oh, I sorry. definitely have circular saws. I got recip saws. I got jig saws. Like, are they, are they, uh, you could just bring them to a place and chop a guy's leg off, or you need an extension cord? So if you get frost, does frostbite spread? Yes. So that's why you have to chop off the leg? Please don't ask any follow-up questions. (laughs) That's why you have to chop off the foot, so it doesn't keep spreading? I think it spreads. Um, I don't, I think it's just done, right? Yeah, you're probably right. Like, if you got frostbite and you don't deal with it, it would just spread over your whole body? Yeah, you're right. I guess I wouldn't do that. But so I bet like to, not. Why do you have to chop the person's foot off? We well, couldn't just have a dead foot, wouldn't you? I mean, she, he probably should have had it. So, I mean, if it was black, know. if the foot is black, you probably something's pretty. He wrong said he with felt it. better after, but I can't believe chopping your foot off, you'd feel better. I you'll meet him at the Magroom Festival. I have a I've got a guy that lives out here that cut his own finger off in the parking lot of a uh, of a hospital. Yeah, but did he feel better? Yeah, he's he's uh you know he works with his hands. He's like a tree uh, removal guy. And I get he said it. it oh, the sorry. finger just got in the way, you know. So he's like, I'm just don't want it anymore. It doesn't do anything. I can't feel it. Which it's finger there. is it? His uh, pinky. All right, here's a uh, sixth story number two. This is just I don't understand. This is like part of the world where I, this is a whole story. And at the end, you're like, you, these people should just be shot. Okay. For nearly a year and a half, a Massachusetts high school, another Massachusetts story here, mm-hmm. has been lit up around the clock because the district can't turn off the roughly 7,000 lights in the sprawling building. The lighting system was installed when it was built over a decade ago and was intended to save money and energy. But ever since the software that runs it failed, on August 24th, 2021... The lights have been on continuously, costing taxpayers thousands of dollars a month. There's all these stories of like the town officials trying to turn it off, but they can't figure it out. Like they can't figure out how to turn. Like wouldn't you get fired at that point? Like turn off the day. There's got to be a plug or something. It's it's a computer system failure. And what I know of computer systems, you got to do. Now, did they reboot the system yet? Did they just turn it off and turn it back on? They said they need a replacement part. And there's no switch. Like, they didn't get a switch on the lights. It advanced auto parts wasn't open when this whole thing happened, so. They said it's some part from China that they haven't been able to get. They blamed, like, COVID, the supply chain, and. The COVID supply chain's been tearing (laughs) us down apart. I'm sorry. And they got got um, an estimate on to replace the whole thing. Guess how much it was? $85. $1.2 million. Wow. We could do cheaper than that. We could just go and like take out the freaking light bulbs. They could give us, if they paid each of us a hundred grand a year, every night I think we would take out all the light bulbs and put them back in in the morning. Not a whole lot of job excitement. You know, you want something that kind of challenges you a little bit, don't you? Do we just get to hang out at the school all day after that and make fun of kids or something, or? I and mean, just take out light bulbs. I feel like at some point you you just get really really depressed. We would get, but it'd be me and you. We'd be hanging out all day. 
with just but I mean we gotta go around an entire school to take out the light bulb. You're gonna spend hours taking out the Seven thousand, yeah. Mm, then we have all know. day. We just go high five, we go to the library, maybe. I don't think there's gonna be any free time. I think if you're and... I think if you're replacing all the light bulbs in a school, you're gonna spend all your time. You're gonna have to eat while you're working. We don't have to t- we don't have to replace them, we just have to twist them enough that they go off. Oh, you're right. All right, that's a this is probably a pretty good idea. <laughs> don't you think there's like a power wire into the school? Yes, I think this is ridiculous. Can uh, we put a switch on that or something? The power company doesn't have the ability to turn it off. Like so every this, night they could just turn off the power? So this Wisconsin school, ha- or no, wait, what was it? Massachusetts? This Massachusetts school has found yeah. the, the key to perpetual motion or something like that. that you can't the, turn off the lights. It'll be the last the, place Even the on supplier Earth. of the electricity can't turn this off? That's ridiculous. This nope. is the dumbest. It would have been uh, better for the school if the power went stop out. Stop paying the power yeah so lily de grande that's my cat's name who's now a lily de grande <laughs> big lily <laughs> <laughs> who is now a 16 year old junior and a co-editor of the smoke signal the online high school newspaper published an article on november 3rd she broke the story 20 no way with the baseline headline what's wrong with the lights and then after that, all the people like got pissed at all the officials, and the officials were like, "There's a software problem. We can't turn off the lights for two f-ing years." Wait, Lily, Lily DeGrande really did break the story in a high school newspaper? Yeah. Wow. Good what's job, up Lily. with What's up with the lights? I wonder if she was meeting people in uh, like like dark parking garages. Do you, Do you notice the lights are on at night? What's going hey. on with that? Hey, Lily, did you think about just calling the f-ing power company and saying, can you turn off our lights at night or something? Can you please make some sort of patch here so that, can you please just turn the lights off at night There's for gotta us? There's got to be a way to reboot it, right? There's a way to turn off everything. Maybe it's in that um, utilities section of your computer. You know, the little gear thing? If you click on that, you get to, like, printers and drivers. Um, that would be incredible if there was just, like, a computer they didn't... said, like, light system. Off. <laughs> 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 Never even looked there. Set timer for light system. <laughs> that's um, that's yeah. what I would. Yeah, was this a dear Moga? Go into your computer um, <laughs> settings uh, file folder. I don't know what words are. Uh, the one that looks like a gear. Click on that. You'll find your way in there. Or it's some kid, Lil- Lily De Grande's brother. Yeah. It's like messing with him. It's like, hey, Lily, I got a story for you. I, I turned on the. I went in the principal's computer. Hey, Lily, do you have a date for the prom? I, I've got a, I've got a lead on a pretty big story. I think. <laughs> if you go to the prom with me, I'll, I'll tell you about it. All right, man. Well, what's the story? Uh, what? How, my name's not Manuel. You, you're thinking of that guy that looks like me. Oh. I'm Mary Kay Brown. <laughs> Your name is Mary. Okay. I was named after a nurse that um, allegedly the cut him, cutting a dot. Yeah. That woman got done i wish somebody would turn these lights off like mary k brown cut off that guy's foot i see the similarities you're talking about there between (laughs) our light system and his foot problem i like how you make um what's that called an allegory no what's the word for that your voice has gotten just (laughs) no i don't know how to do a voice i don't know how to do a prepubescent boy's voice consistently No, you're just talking like a Kermit or something. <laughs> like Kermit. I don't know how to do the voice spoon. I want the great voice. Oh, my. I'm like crying. Ah. <laughs> David Crosby died. Uh, I think either yesterday or the day before. I really, uh, he was cool. I don't know, he seemed like an interesting guy. I didn't really do a whole <laughs> research here. I just thought he had a, it's one of those Two guys. Two thumbs kinda, up, David Crosby. Kind of lived life on his own terms, it seems like. And he was a pretty, uh, I think he was one of the, to me, he was one of those guys, rest in peace. Like he does seem a little tortured, right? He was like an addict and he had tragedy in his life. And, uh, and, but, I really like that song, Sweet Judy Blue Eyes, which, now that I think about it, wasn't written by David Crosby. That's a Stephen Stills song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, Did uh, he sing I think, in it? Yeah. 
He, he, he took part in it, so therefore... All right, I, there you go. Um, <laughs> My favorite song that he was kind of in. I know. I, I thought of that yesterday. I'm going to say something about David, uh, David Crosby, and then I totally popped into my mind that how much I like that song. Do you like? Do you know Sweet Judy Blue Eyes? I don't know if I know. I can. Should I play it? It's probably like my favorite love song I've ever written. There we go. Oh uh, yeah. Should we talk over this? Can you hear us? Can we hear us? Well, you are it's, it's, it's kind of loud. I don't know. I'll, I'll play it. We, we, we you don't have to listen the whole thing. I'm gonna be the producer. I right can put it behind. Because you were the you were no. Maybe I'll just do it right now. Ooh, maybe not. Because you remember you took over my stuff. Oh, that's right. Anything else you got? I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw this in the background. I got a little mag bag here. How about uh, how about David Crosby, everybody? Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. We love you. You and uh... they did. They sang. It was like I mean, it's music. If people were singing it now, you might make fun of it, Mark. Why? I think this is a very heartfelt song. The, the that's lyrics what I are... mean. No, I, I, that's people what I... People make I, heartfelt songs now. You're like, that's cheesy, man. No, if it's cheesy, it's cheesy. If it's heartfelt, it's not. I, I, I No, that's what I like about this song. It's just, I think it's full of emotion. And I think when I listen to music, I like stuff mm. that's got like that. It feels like tortured like you had to write the song you know what i mean like feels like <laughs> and we were supposed to be honoring david crosby but it feels like steven stills had to write this song he had to like get something out of himself and i i just think that makes for good music imagine growing up in like i mean our music was decent imagine growing up in the 60s and 70s like just good music was coming out all the time i think it still is we just don't mm. know where it went to be honest now that i say that i, I don't know people don't just play instruments and get good and yeah, it takes know. a lot of time. Yeah. And it's hard time. when you can play Minecraft. Yeah. Or just, you know, splice something people, together. Or your parents were like, don't play the guitar, hippie. Like, I'm yeah. going to secretly go off and play the guitar and then write a song. No, you could just do it on your phone. And then it became big. They didn't even know it was going to be big. They just loved doing it. Right. Like two guys starting a podcast, just hoping for the best, you know? Yeah, but we Crossing know your fingers. It's gonna be big. Checking in every Friday night at ten twenty PM. They just loved it. And then all of a sudden they were making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And then it got yeah. real and then they got depressed. Heroin. Then they sold this uh, to like Volkswagen as an ad. He got he got he got into heroin because his girlfriend died in a car accident. David Crosby, uh, that's, that's how he tough. got Yeah. Yeah, you can turn it off. I didn't That's it, we're done? Oh no, no! If you want to keep listening, I love this song. I don't know if yeah. I... it's jamming out in my headphones. I'm enjoying it. Okay, I haven't listened to music in like headphones in a long time. That's kind of how I. That's the only way I do because I generally at work. I do. I like. I but like those up. headphones, like really good headphones, and you're just jamming out to the song. Something cool about having fluffy things on your ears with good music coming out of it. Yeah. Feels very nostalgic. My, my dad used to do that like every night. Like come <laughs> to avoid you. Yeah, he'd be like, "Shut up!" And no. I can't. What? He put in the headphones. Can't really and, hear you. And he'd play like music in his thing. Maybe it calmed him down. I don't know. I should yeah. ask. Him. I bet that's it. Maybe we'll talk to him about it. Yeah. <clears throat> that's dude, great. Dude, All right. Dude, should we wrap dude. it up or what? Yeah, but maybe turn the song off to wrap it up, right? Oh, or... sorry. I know you're getting nervous as the producer. <laughs> <laughs> Theme song by Maggie Yellox. Email Cisco at gmail.com. We are on the social media sites. Follow us, the Mag Room Pod. Like and subscribe to our podcast. Or listen to us. Podcast? And Yeah, I forgot what it was called at first. What have we been doing? Send in nobody send in any ideas about the festival. Yeah, thanks there. everybody. You guys are the best. Can't even Dude. take a fucking email. Like two one weeks. Right. Aren't we two weeks away? Yeah, but now you're all uninvited. Nobody even no not only Just me and you. Me and you and food food in trucks. The food truck. We got uh, carnival games and stuff. Me and you and tacos in the driveway. That's it. None of you guys are invited anymore. Um, remember to engage the world. Put down your phone. 
and come to the festival. I know Mark said you're not invited, but you're still invited. February 4th, there'll be food trucks, horse tranquilizers, human meatballs. You know what you didn't, you know what you didn't put in the episode last week either? You didn't say it. I didn't say it? Uh-uh. I said it at the end. Go Everyone. back and listen. All right, I'm going to listen to the raw feed. Because the yeah. people didn't know what to do last week. Yeah, I got a lot of phone calls. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> stick with the mag with the stick room and every... Do it in your, do it in your voice. Hi, everybody. No, your boy, your boy voice here. Stick with the mag room <laughs> and everything else is cream cheese. <laughs> Stop laughing so hard. <laughs> I nailed that. That's great. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. The my groom's good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. Uh, 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 uh. Is my voice beautiful?